on this record, what we saw from the cheap seats, there are songs that are older than songs on Soviet Kitsch or Begin to Hope or fa like they're all kind of mixed up. I don't ever really write a record as a like it's not one of those things where I write a record then record it then write a new record. I sort of I write songs all the time as I as I live life and then they accumulate and I mean I have dozens and dozens of songs. It's interesting because I think a lot of the time I've noticed in music people take it really personally when you say I, they think it's really you and it's much harder for people to realize that the I in the song could be just as out there as in somebody in a play or in a, in a film. I myself relate much more to you know, fiction writers, um, science fiction writers. I really love the, the kind of spark of, wouldn't that be cool or isn't that strange or what, what would that feel like? Um, so, so I think like as far as, as far as the genre, I'm not confessional at all. Mike Elizondo, who produced this record, he was one of the four producers I worked I worked with four producers on FAR, my previous record, to sort of experiment and play around and, and learn from people and just kind of have this, uh, this, we're not making a record, we're just making songs kind of experience. He was very laid back about having me record piano and voice at the same time and I, I sort of had forgotten that that's kind of allowed, you know. So when, when we reconnected on this, on this record, it, we were just so on the same page about so many things. Working in the studio with people that are like that, but are also very creative, it's wonderful because then I could describe something for them and I could say, you know, this feels like it needs more, more frostiness, it's just not icy enough, you know, or it needs to be more like a broken cobblestone robot and then they'll actually help find sounds and then sometimes so I could say I want this to be more like a broken cobblestone robot and they will find a sound that will not have been in my imagination at all and it's not right for the thing that I wanted it for but it makes me think oh but there's this other song that I haven't thought about for eight years and I never really thought to record it but the sound is perfect for it and then I just play it for Mike and Adam and, and then they'd say, oh, yeah, let's record. So I think that's kind of the haphazard way of, of that this record came together. Mm -hmm.